today's video, we're going to be checking out the new Funko Vinyls. This was A Nightmare on Elm Street's Freddy Krueger and Friday 13th's Jason Voorhees. To figure out how tall these are, let's take the tape measure. Putting it next to Freddy Krueger with his hat factored in, of course, this vinyl is five inches in height. Jason Voorhees is a little bit shorter. He's closer to about four and a half inches in height. Both of them come with their display stands, which we can just take off of Freddy's here. And much, we've seen this before, they use a large and small peg. I'm not really sure why they have to use a large and small peg as two same sized pegs would perfectly work just as well. Also to note is also as well, the vinyls seem to stand perfectly fine on their own. They don't necessarily need stands, but I guess the stands do kind of give a overall finished look to them. And when you have them on display, it kind of looks cool. I have to admit to have them with their pegs or with their displays pegged into place. Just peg that in. They're a little difficult at times to get completely on their stands. But yeah, they do kind of look nice, I guess, with stands included. Now, the vinyls are packed in twos. So for a Freddy Krueger and Jason Voorhees, they could have technically done like a Freddy Krueger and Nancy and then a Jason Voorhees and a Tommy. But I guess people would be probably more interested in getting the killers themselves and maybe not necessarily any secondary characters with it. So they just they just went right to it and gave us a Freddy and a Jason. Looking first at Freddy, I personally love these vinyls and I hope they continue to make them because they are very different than some of the stuff that Funko was releasing before. Uh, Mold-wise, the arms are somewhat similar but the torsos, definitely in this case, the torsos and lower legs seem to be identical. Well, maybe the pant legs are slightly different on Jason, but we'll look at that in a second. But the torso is very, very similar between the two. I love the expressions and I love the designs of these because they remind me of like the old Rankin Bass. And I mentioned this before with the Heat Miser Snow Miser, that it reminds me of like the old Rankin Bass uh, Land of Oz, Wizard of Oz cartoon that used to be on TV. I used to watch that all the time. So here you have a very joyful Freddy Krueger of all things. So much so, or maybe he's laughing sinisterly, I don't know, but he does have his eyes closed and his mouth open. I'm sure he is laughing at somebody's expense. Somebody right now is running and screaming, uh, but really nice look to Freddy Krueger. He doesn't seem to have as much going for him as Jason. I think Jason of the two is my personal favorite. I do like the look of Freddy here. He has his, you know, his trusty fedora right on the top there. And in case you are wondering, the fedora is not removable. It's sculpted in place. Uh, in favor of sculpting in the wrinkles, they've just simply painted them in, which is perfectly fine. He's got one area of his ear that's missing while the other ear is completely intact. There is his clawed hand. I wish the clawed hand was done a little bit differently. I mean, they just painted everything silver as opposed to actually going in there and painting in maybe like a, a copper or a bronze sort of color here so it was a different color than the rest of the blades. That's about my only nitpick for a character like this that is pretty much already a super stylized version of Freddy. So I'm not expecting super loads of detail, but a thing like painted the, painting the glove all silver I think is a little bit of a sloppy route by, uh, by Funko here. Like the the shredded sweater that they've actually gone in and drawn a line around it so it does stand out. It's not simply just a case of, you know, leaving it with the red on the bottom. The black does separate it quite nicely. There's his shoes. One hand is just really clenched in a fist more so, while the other hand, of course, is up in his glove. Uh, articulation on both these, by the way, this is all they do. So 
don't get super excited. But then again, like the pop vinyl figures didn't really do much more than this anyways. And I'm really tired of those. These I love because they're different unique sculpts and they look different. They're just really cool looking. The pop stuff, other than the odd ones here and there, I, I certainly don't want to be called a hypocrite because I know there are certain pop vinyl figures that we're going to be picking up and I'm going to be picking up and reviewing on this channel. So I'm not 100% dismissing pop, but I do think it's time that Funko kind of mixes it up a bit. And I think really vinyls here are the way to, uh, to go. So having a look at Jason Voorhees, and actually while we're at it, let's put the two side by side. I just want to look at their feet. Perhaps, yes, the torso, the legs, and the feet are identical to one another. The arm also on the side, this, well, your right side watching this, is also identical. So the only thing that they really changed was the head and then this arm here. Well, you see this arm on Jason, he has the machete. Uh, we'll put Freddy down here for a second. Now, Jason, I think, has a little bit more going for him. Not only have they sculpted the hockey mask, so it's not just simply a case of painting over top of it, they've sculpted in the straps, they've sculpted the ringlet on the back here that have the straps fed through. Like overall, this guy just feels like he's got a little bit more going on for him. Also digging the fact that he's got his machete, which badly placed, it looks like he's actually sticking it in his neck or the bottom of his chin, I suppose. This is a little bit of a softer plastic, so a little stress can be made. And I guess maybe that's why they put it so close to his head, so that it wouldn't run the risk of being too far down, and that it could actually be clipped. It kind of keeps everything tight together here. A little bit of blood on the machete is a nice touch. Uh, the outfit, it's really hard to dissect what this outfit... It could be Freddy versus Jason Jason judging by the green jacket and, you know, the gray slacks. But it's basically just an, an undetermined Jason. Same way as that's really an undetermined Freddy. You could say, well, it's Nightmare 3 Freddy or Nightmare 4 Freddy, but it's basically just a Freddy. Um, again, I really like the head sculpt. One of the best things about this set is Jason's mask. I think it's really great. Could it have been removable? Sure, but I don't really think that's what the vinyls are going for. Vinyls are going for, again, a more simplified looking design of the characters. I don't think we want to start getting into the complexities of having like removable masks and removable accessories. Then it's getting outside the market of really what they're supposed to be doing. Posability on Jason, though, it's the same as Freddy. And despite the fact that his machete is sticking as far into his head as it is, you can still rotate the head pretty easily, but do be mindful, as you can see, I'm, I'm rotating it. It is pulling the machete as it's doing so. So a little bit of caution, I think, should be made when turning the head, at least here for Jason. Funko Vinyls, oh, I so adore thee. This is actually of the vinyls that have been released. One of the ones I was really looking forward to getting the most. Of course, love Freddy, love Jason. And the fact that the two of them would be given a vinyl treatment is all the more better. I think since getting this set, I probably have... I don't think I've put out my vinyl pop figures of Freddy or Jason for the longest time. As I really don't think, in my honest opinion, it really captures what I want from a Freddy and Jason figure. These, on the other hand, I think are unique enough with their distinct body sculpts and their head sculpts. They kind of play more, I think, to the playful nature of the characters. And I think these are the type of characters that I would want to be putting more so on display. The pop will still not be something I'm going to abandon completely. There's still going to be a couple of pops, as you'll see in future videos, that I'm still going to pick up. But I think if... Funko can continue to release vinyls, the VYNL vinyls, I'm going to be more inclined to probably pick those up because I'm really liking the design of them, I'm liking the expressions that they put into them, and I'm liking the overall playfulness that these characters are looking like. And again, Freddy vs. Jason in a vinyl treatment, I think they look awesome. You can currently find these now at comic book stores, and the price point of these, if you get the two-pack, which these are available as, generally these are roughly about a 14 to $15 price point. So they're not overly expensive if you want to just pick up a, ca a casual collector, if you want to just pick up a couple here or there. They're definitely not going to break the bank. But Freddy and Jason fans alike, I think you may want to be picking these ones up for yourself and add them to your collection. 
Today though, facing off, I've got them facing face to face, we were having a look at the new Funko Vinyl. This was a Nightmare on Elm Street and Freddy Krueger's, uh, Freddy Krueger and the Friday 13th Jason Voorhees together in a two pack. If you guys haven't had a chance yet to hit that little subscribe button down below, make sure you do so as there's definitely gonna be a lot more videos coming your way. Uh, also, if you wanted to go back to my home page, the main page on my channel, go to the videos section. And the reason why I say that, and we'll probably start saying this in future videos, is I find a lot of times people may be watching maybe this video, for example, and didn't know that I had done maybe four or five videos before that. So if you get a chance, watch this video and then go to my, mo my main page and go to the videos area and then kind of just go across, go scrolling down. And for example, I just did the ultimate Ash from Ash vs. the Evil Dead. Maybe didn't get a chance to see that, that's okay, you can go and check out all the videos and feel free to comment in those older videos as well. So I always know that you guys are watching the older stuff as well as the newer videos I'm uploading as well. Either way, guys, thanks for watching as you always do. I'll see you next time.